I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We've had weather since, well, the beginning of the Earth and the beginning of the atmosphere. There's always been weather, but we've only had weather instruments for a couple of hundred years. We've only had satellites for a couple of decades. So what did they do before that? Well, they were making observations uh, as to what was happening that day so that they could figure out what was going to happen the next day, the week, the next month. So that's where weather folklore was born. And we're going to dissect one of those pieces of weather folklore today. You ever heard that saying, red sky in the morning, sailors take warning, red sky at night, sailors delight? There's a reason you've heard it because that one is actually true, mostly. Let's talk about it. So in the sunrise, well, that comes in from the east. So you get that sun rising on the eastern horizon. Well, weather where we are here in the mid latitudes in North America, that comes from the west. So you've got the sun rising in the east, that light is going and bouncing off of those clouds that are approaching and scattering throughout the atmosphere, making it that red sky. Well, that's what you would take warning because that weather is coming toward you. Now, think about it the other way. If the sun is setting in the west and the weather's moving from the west to the east, that means, well, that storm system is past you already and that sun is setting and bouncing off of the back of those clouds and lighting up the sky which means you've got at least a couple of hours or at least a good 12 hour period where you don't have to worry about an approaching storm system because the one has just left you. That is sort of the myth and the legend behind that saying. There are many of them that are out there. I wanna know some of the ones that you've heard. What do you believe? What works in our area specifically? You can leave us a comment down below and let us know.